So here we are uh, at Kanai, the beginning of another turn. Hannibal once again strengthened his forces, sent some attacks forward, which didn't necessarily work well. We see one of them got routed here, but one of them successfully routed a Roman unit. Mm. So, so. But mainly he strengthened the defenses for when the Romans come forward. Then, so the first Roman units come forward, smash into here, and one of them broke one of the Celts. But then we saw one of those, and, and there are actually a significant number of them in this system. What I consider kind of a magical moment. A Roman unit comes smashing through, hits a Celtic unit. There were actually two Roman units, uh, Celt here, two Romans here and here, one of them not attacking, one of them attacking. Smashes into the Celt, throws its javelins, hits it, takes some losses, comes, drives the Celt routing back, comes forward and runs into these lights who throw their javelins in turn, route the Roman, it runs through the other Roman unit, the only place it could retreat through because everything else had zones of control in it at that point. Routing that, so now two Romans are routed in exchange for the one Celt. Bad trade-off, right? But it's really fun to watch something like that just unfold. And that's one of the things that you get with this level of detail. Uh, with all the die rolling and everything and all, all the accounting with all the different shits flipping over and this, that, and the other, is you do get situations like that that seem realistic, that seem right, and that are just so cool. And, you know, in a straight I go, you go system, you usually just don't see that. You see a line move forward and attack, all kind of soak offs and this, that, and the other. This is a, a, a very good system for that. Probably uh, the Simple Battles actually handles it just as well, I would guess. Because again, it's that pulsed sort of system. But anyway, I wanted to bring that up because I just love when that kind of stuff happens. And it's fairly often in here. So after a little bit of readjustment up here with the uh, units on the extreme Roman right flank, we see the Roman Cav come back and slice up and route destroy one unit, route a couple more. Uh, definitely something that the uh, Carthaginians really had no defense against because their Numenidians are off here trying to harass the Romans. Okay, another turn down. And what do we got? Well, has Drubal managed to move his calf forward, but he still isn't able to really find a good purchase to swing around on this. And what's much worse, uh, Vero has positioned himself so he can swing this line into play. And that's just going to chase this calf back. Uh, when this thing starts moving, the calf can't stand up to it. It's got to fall back. And the only thing that can stand up to it is perhaps the phalanx here. Uh, and there's a very weak spot right here. Of course, there's some good, there's some uh, Celts there and some skirmishers. But what do I do with the calf in that case? The calf's got to kind of squish out this way. And unless, uh, unless the Romans move very poorly, which is to say they move this before they sort of swing around this way, uh, I do not see that as likely at all. And this is kind of a trap waiting for uh, Hasdrubal. However, when we look over here, poor Paulus launched some attacks, drove this phalanx away, but it managed to get rallied by uh, Maharabo. I'm not sure he could have actually done that, but we'll let him for the sake of argument here. Uh, because that's not what really hurt. What really hurt was those Numenidians smashing in. And we see Romans streaming off the board there. Hannibal was unable to do his full magic. In fact, he only rallied a couple of units. He did strengthen the line. He made a couple of attacks, drove a few units back that we see back there. But there's this very weak spot here now. Here it looks weaker for the Romans. Uh, and none of that is terribly important. What's important is I counted up these points. We're up to 231 for the Romans, 110 for the Carthaginians. Rome 
really can't survive another turn, I don't think. Yeah, they brought their cap in and started striking the rear. But their army is wasted. Their army is unable to stand on this field. And if I can bring this in, another unit went chasing a Roman cav off the board. It is so over. But I don't think that's even necessary. I mean, we're looking at um, just the units that are routing here. I've got to go prevent them from coming off the field. This one is just five points, but that's half of what is needed to break the Roman army at this point. Is there another one anywhere else? Well, there will be. I mean, look what's coming. Look at these. They're just flowing out. Uh, and there's really no hope for the Romans here. Um, I may again call this one. I think I'm going to. You know, there's only so much value to playing out such a losing cause. I think what we're seeing is something, I, I am going to call this, what we've seen is something that's um, far less, I think, decisive as the real Kanai. The Romans, by being able to form this line, prevented any kind of outflank from this side. And over here, they didn't manage as much sturdiness, but their cav did manage to get the first strike in on the Numenidians and weakened that blow tremendously. So this is not going to be the situation that Rome faced after the real Kanai, I would assume. This is going to be these armies falling back, but not destroyed. Uh, the, the, the Roman consular armies. Especially if these are not on the field. If they're flying around God knows where without any real leadership, they're, they're not really going to be able to maintain a pursuit. This line is more troublesome, but Roman maneuverability means that it could pull back probably fairly safely in good order. With the Triari to back them up, I, I, I would say the Romans are going to get out of here without too terrible a loss. All right, I'm going to wrap this and send it up. This is the end of Kanai for me. Uh, I just can't see spending. Again, it's the same situation I had with Trebia. I can't say spending an hour on, and it may be two, two turns, because uh, there's only one unit routing off the board right now. And... Now, the Romans are going to have to try to rally these units if they're, if they're fighting. And chances are so good that one of those four or five units is just going to break. More on top of that, not only this one is liable to go, but those calves are very likely to hit something and then get a pursuit and hit it again, knock it out, boom, it's over. So, yeah, I, 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 this battle is done as far as I'm concerned. Again, like with Trebia, if the point uh, lineup was a little closer, eh, you know, I'd probably play it out. But there's no way you're going to do 65 points uh, to Carthage at this point in the game. There's just not enough power. These calves can pull back. They're not going to get destroyed. Uh, you know, they may be worth a good 20 points there, but... It's not gonna. It's not gonna be destroyed. There's not cav, which is what can actually hammer something. It's gonna have to route throw, and by the time it does that, the Roman army is done. <laughs> All right, up it goes.